Hello everyone, I got a great question from Jamie. She said, I would really be interested in a video about how we as women can make safe spaces for the men in our lives to feel safe expressing how they feel without fear. So I'm going to address this very question in this video. Make sure to stick around until the end. When I think about safe space in the relationship between a man and a woman, I think about building trust. And there are a few things that we need to address when we're looking at that aspect. First, I think you must accept the man the way that he is. You see, I think many women are trying to change men. They're trying to make men their improvement project. When in reality, your man is always or most of the time is going to remain who he is from the beginning. Your man isn't going to like the idea of being forced to change because think about it from your own perspective if somebody comes in into your life if you're dating a man if you're a woman let's say and you're dating a man and that man comes in and tells you all the things that you're not doing well or or implying things that you're not doing well and asking you to change how would that make you feel that probably would make you feel like you're not good enough to begin with and that's not a good feeling to be honest so for a lot of men we want to see that a woman will accept us the way that we are. The other thing that we really appreciate as men is direct communication. Instead of saying, oh, it really stinks in here in this kitchen, say, will you please take the trash out? If you allow us to hear exactly what you're thinking without going around the issue, it's going to help us tremendously. All the guessing game that goes into communication in the relationship is exhausting for us. If you can simplify it for us, if you just assume that we don't know, listen, for all I care, assume that we don't understand indirect communication. Assume that it's a different language for us. Tell us the bottom line and watch how your communication with a man improves. Why is this relevant? It's because it builds trust. It contributes to the process. If my woman is going to communicate with me directly, it will make me think that she trusts me. It makes me feel that she's actually trying to have this good communication in our relationship. And that will go a long way. Another huge component in building this safe space is respect. Always maintain respect towards him, even when you disagree with him or you're mad at him. What I think happens oftentimes, people end up arguing. And then a woman says something to a man like, you're an asshole. Or you just don't get me. Or why would you do that? So in the heat of the moment, when respect is crossed, there are things that's being said that you're going to regret later on and it's going to remain in his memory. Because if you say anything that will offend him to the core, these things he's not just going to forget. And he probably going to always feel that you believe he's not good enough for you as a man. Therefore, respect towards him in order to build that safe space, it's monumental. It's sometimes difficult because sometimes you will disagree with him and sometimes you will feel like he's an ass. But at the end of the day, you got to be able to contain these emotions within yourself and showcase him that even though you disagree, you're still able to maintain that same level of respect for him. Here's another huge thing that people miss. Spend dedicated time together to build an authentic relationship. And here's the thing. In order to like someone, you have to know that person. What do I mean by that? Having a relationship does not mean that you like that person. You might be infatuated with that guy. You may be interested in certain aspect of him as a person. You may admire his drive. All of these things do not necessarily mean that you like him, genuinely like him. In order for you to like him, you need to know him. You need to know what he is like as a person, where he comes from, what his preferences, what his values, what his beliefs. Do you like to spend time with him together when you don't do anything exciting, when you're just together and having conversation? Do you enjoy his company? Do you authentically like this man? In order for you to answer that question, you need to have uninterrupted, dedicated time together with this man to really get to know him for who he is. And one more bonus suggestion to sum it all up. We talked about building trust. That word is very intentional. Building. It's a process. 
It does not happen overnight. You must be patient with that man. You must be willing to take steps to create this building process day after day after day. If you're willing to do that, you can create a relationship that will be special. But it does take time. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to this channel, set your notifications to all so you can receive notifications for my future videos and my live shows. I hope that these videos help you. You can always leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. I will be seeing you in the next video.